This is North Dakota Today. Hi, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome on into North Dakota Today. Thank you for joining us. My name is Ashlyn Hill. And I'm Sophia Richards. It's Taco Tuesday. It is Taco Tuesday. <laughs> it really is. It's just a normal Tuesday, but it's very interesting in the realm of Taco Tuesday because the slogan has finally been freed. You may remember the feud between Taco Bell and Taco John's. It was over the trademark of the slogan itself, Taco Tuesday, because Taco John's originally owned it from 1989 until this year when Taco Bell swooped in and contested its fair use. So now it has been released to the masses. You are allowed to say Taco <laughs> Tuesday. And better than that, any restaurant that sells tacos can use it as part of your like slogans and your advertising. So it's a big day for freedom for tacos. <laughs> <laughs> but this is why it's an even bigger deal. To celebrate, Taco Bell is partnering with DoorDash. They are opening a $5 million taco tab. They're going to partially be covering orders from any participating vendor selling Mexican food, so selling tacos. And the big Taco Tuesday celebration is going to be September 12th. So mark your calendars for next month. But today, right now, leading up to that big event, Taco Bell is giving away some free Doritos Locos Tacos every Tuesday leading up to it. So starting today through September 5th, on the Tuesdays only, don't show up tomorrow trying to get your free taco, everybody. Mm -hmm. But you can snag your free Doritos Locos Taco. How exciting. Okay, this is so many exciting things. I know. I'm like mentally taking a note yeah. of all the wonderful things that you just said. This Absolutely. And no purchase necessary. So just just hop on in line, go through that drive through It says while well, supplies last, though. So I don't know how early Doritos Locos are yeah. served on the menu at Taco Bell. Maybe it's already happening. So, But don't leave until the show's over. Yep. That's the one rule we have here <laughs> in North Dakota today. Okay, Perfect. pretty fun, though. So a big Taco Tuesday. Um, also, this next story, a little crazy. Mm -hmm. um, and making a lot of headlines. You might have already kind of heard something about this. Former NFL star Michael Orr, who was the subject of the hit film The Blind Side, is now coming forward and saying that his adoption by the Memphis family was all a lie. Orr has filed a lawsuit now claiming that Leanne and Sean Tui never legally adopted him and that the the papers that they had him sign in 2004 made them conservators rather than adoptive parents, which gave them instead legal control over all of his contracts. So he says that he didn't realize that big discrepancy until February of this year. The lawsuit, you guys, claiming that the Tuies made millions of dollars in royalties off of the Blindside movie, but he says he received nothing from that film. The lawsuit is asking a Tennessee court to end the Tui's conservatorship to prohibit them from using his name and likeness and to then pay him a fair share of the profits. Have you seen The Blind Side? I love that movie. Me too. I love that movie. It makes me bawl my eyes out yeah. every time. It's such it's a, a good lie. film. I, and it could be. This is the yeah. part. Okay, so if you're not familiar with the film itself, basically Michael Orr, he was an American football offensive lineman. But when he was young and going into high school, he was taken in by the Tuies and basically overcame impoverished upbringings and just not so great home life. And so they take him in, they raise him, and he ends up playing at Ole Miss and then ultimately gets drafted, first round draft pick in 2009 in the NFL. And the story, there's a novel about his life and then they turn it into a film and mm -hmm. it, Tim McGraw is in it, Sandra Bullock stars yeah. in it. She won a ton of awards for playing Leanne. And it's such a good film. Such a good movie. That's why if this really, you know, wasn't told the way it was, I will be so heartbroken. I know, that's why I feel bad too. I'm, you know, you never want something like that to be true, but then no. at the end of the day, if it is true, you want him to get the money yeah. based on his name and likeness it's his life yeah how crazy though I know this is like disturbing yeah it will be movie. too yeah since the lawsuit's but. been filed it'll definitely be something to keep an eye on just to see ultimately what ends up coming out but mm -hmm. you know even in the film do you remember when they were interviewing him about going to Ole Miss and they were like questioning it mm -hmm. they're like why do you want to go like did the family force you to do this yeah. but then it ends up being really sweet and, and in the film this is all I'm referencing mm -hmm. he just says my family goes there that's why I want to go and yeah. it's like this it's, really yeah, sweet full circle thing. moment yeah, yeah, yeah like it's such a good movie mm -hmm. you cry happy tears you cry sad tears it's a whole I thing I just cry through the whole thing yeah <laughs> it is a really good film so I don't know it'll be interesting to really see what ends up uh coming out of this you know we just really wish him nothing but the best yeah. you never want stories like this to be true but, no, but yeah we'll see okay I must have been living under a rock for this one 
other celebrity news this morning. <laughs> Zoe Deschanel and Jonathan Scott are engaged. The actress and the Property Brothers host made the announcement on Instagram. That's a screen grab I grabbed from there uh, with the caption that says forever starts now. So I didn't realize the two were dating. I didn't know anything about their personal lives. I, <laughs> I, you know, I normally am super up on the celebrity uh -huh. happenings and the gossip, uh -huh. and I want to say that I knew. <laughs> Maybe. But I just, I feel like I don't, because you mentioned it this morning, yeah. and I was like, oh... But I think I knew. Okay, but here's but why you might have known. Because I looked up. So according to People Magazine, he proposed during a family trip to Scotland, first of all. Incredible. The pair met in 2019. Mm -hmm. So they've been dating for a while. Yeah. Um, they were both filming a segment of Carpool Karaoke Aww. with their siblings. So the other property brother. Cute. Do you watch that show? No, but I, I can't tell them apart. <laughs> I can't either. So I was like, which one? But then I realized it doesn't really matter because I don't know, <laughs> it I don't matter know which one either it way. is. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, it's a good show. They always pick on each other. They're always just competing mm -hmm. with each other as twins, as twins probably do in real yeah. life. Um, that's funny. But I didn't realize they were dating. Zoe Deschanel, basically huge from New Girl, right? Yeah. The show New Girl. I never watched it. Really? I never got on the New Girl bandwagon. Yeah. Oh, my God. I just know who she is. She was an elf. She was an elf, and she was also in 500 Days, Days of, of Summer. Summer. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was so good. It's yeah. a really good movie. Yeah, I think she's it. a great actress, very yeah. talented. Yeah, and clearly agree. he's very successful. So. Well, and then uh, apparently he was in Fargo before for something. I don't know. We'll have to look into yeah. the, the happenings there. There's a lot going on. Yeah. There's like inner <laughs> layers to this story. <laughs> Okay, well, don't forget, it's Taco Tuesday. So this is your day to celebrate now through September. So for the next four Taco Tuesdays, head on over to Taco Bell. Well, you know, I'm proud of us because we're kind of shifting our fast food. We always talk <laughs> about McDonald's. I know. But we've branched out. I'm proud of us. I'm proud, too, except Growth. I couldn't find fair use on the Doritos Locos image. This one I was allowed to use to put on your screen there. So, But the free taco is the Doritos Locos, just so you know, everybody. I haven't tried that one. I oh, you haven't had them? Isn't it the one and it's just the Doritos like shell? Yep. Okay. It's a crunchy shell taco. It. Yeah, they're but good. Now I have an excuse to try it. I mean, for free. Yeah. What, what could go wrong? No. <laughs> you don't even have to buy anything. You just <laughs> got to show up in line. So that's the way to do it. Mm -hmm. Well, we have a pretty big Tuesday of a show ahead for you here. This one, we don't talk about this every day. Fargo fungi in your food. What could that possibly mean? Well, stay tuned and find out next right here on North Dakota Today.